You can put yourself into the director's shoes now. Martin Scorsese, as you may probably know from his movie Departed, Goodfellas. Now you've got the movie Irishman that's gonna talk about a mafia guys and the movie is just gonna go through with their old versions and young versions back and forth. You've got the great actors Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, Joe Pesky. For their old versions you don't have any problem because they are already old. But for their young versions now you've got the challenge. You as a director you gotta do something about this. First makeup or kind of a sculpture thing. This makeup have been tried with different different movies but it was about like a couple of seconds or maybe actors didn't have to speak but your movie gonna be three hours and almost half of them will be their young versions with a lot of talking scenes a lot of moving scenes so first option is trash second option is CGI which actor needs to have dots on their face for the later production that CGI designers can make them look young but it's not a good option for you as a Martin Scorsese you don't want anything can interfere to actor skills, actor performance so it's gone third option find someone that look alike those actors to their young versions but we as an audience already know those actors young times we watch their movies so you cannot really mess with the audience about their young times or fourth option is just find the young actors and make them look old with the makeup or whatever but still won't work so the final option is for you just to give up and shoot something else but he didn't. He went to the CGI effect designers and asked them to find something that's not gonna interfere actor performance and at the same time will make them look younger. One, and Pablo Violin came up to me and said, I think I could make them look younger. And I said, I don't know. Boy, I can't have the actors talking to each other with golf balls on their faces. I said, if you could find a way to lessen the technical aspects of it, that could work. So I just kind of took a breath and I said, you know, we'll develop the technology. First, they put the infrared cameras just next to the main camera to shot their infrared versions and then translated to a 3D picture. They collected all the face expression from their old movies one by one, shot by shot. Millions of frames just kept getting collected. And as an extra, they shot a lot of expression just next to the camera so those all layers just they collect them together and created their 3D model. They paid a lot of attention on their skin. Each cell has been created one by one. It was definitely a masterpiece. Unfortunately, he didn't get a Golden Globe about his production. I hope he's gonna get some Oscars at least, which doesn't seem like. But he's gonna be first in the history, he's gonna be always mentioned. And by the way, you didn't realize something in this video, maybe you did. I was just kidding. See you around.